Let us start with an introduction to HVAC system. There are three main sections involved in this system. 1. Cooling system. 2. Heating system. 3. Air handling unit. Cooling system. The cooling system is used to reduce the temperature of the environment that the HVAC system is controlling. The components of this system are Chiller Cooling tower Condenser pump Primary pump Secondary pump Heating system The heating system is used to increase the temperature of the environment that the HVAC system is controlling. The components of the heating system are Boiler Primary pump Secondary pump Air handling unit The AHU controls the ventilation and temperature in a building by controlling the air flow capacity. The components of this section are Cooling coil Heating coil Air filter Duct work Supply fan Return fan Inlet damper Exhaust damper Return damper The cooling provided by the HVAC system is explained as follows. The warm water rejected by the chiller is sent to the cooling tower through the condenser pump. The water is then cooled by the cooling tower fans. The cooled water in the cooling tower basin is then passed to the chiller to remove the heat from the refrigerant and allows it to produce chilled water. The secondary pump pumps the chilled water from the chiller to the AHU cooling coil. Fresh air blows in from the inlet damper. This air flows across the cooling coils and its temperature is reduced. The water in the cooling coil takes up the heat from the fresh air blown through it, and this warmed water is sent back to the chiller by means of a primary pump for chilling. The chill air flowing out of the cooling coils is moved into the duct work by means of a supply fan. Through the duct work, chilled air is distributed to the individual zones. The warm air in the zones are sent back through the return fan. A part of this air is sent out as exhaust. The other part is fed back into the system through return dampers to be used for cooling. If heating is required the hot water from the boiler is fed to the heating coil using a secondary pump. The water passes through the coil, loses heat, and is fed back to the boiler by means of a primary pump. The rest of the flow is the same as in the case of cooling. 